All right, so we're going to get to the first thing you need to get through the crisis in the church, and that is to take up your cross manfully like a saint. So we're going to talk about this gospel, Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 14, 25. And there went great multitudes with him, and turning, he said to them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever doth not carry his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. The St. Luke. So we have this passage when our Lord speaks about the Holy Cross, and the necessity of taking up your cross and hating every earthly attachment. So the saints understand this passage as renouncing every single attachment that we have to every creature. So our Lord speaks of all of the closest familial relations that you have, father, mother, brother, sisters, wife, and children, and your own life. So this includes every creature comfort you have, including your spiritual comforts, and your bodily comforts, every pleasure that you have that's, that's created, you need to be detached from those. Taking up your cross means dying to every one of those so that you can adhere to Jesus Christ alone, the, uh, the one thing uncreated, the one God uncreated. And that's what suffering is, that's why suffering is so necessary, In this crisis, we need to embrace suffering. We need to embrace the cross, the cross of suffering every single day by being detached from creatures, detached from our ideas about the way that the church should be run, even if we're right. We need to be detached from them because we cannot control every single thing that happens. We can do our part, but we need to be detached from it. When things go wrong, we need to allow God's will to be done, even if it's suffering on our part. We need to accept that. Imitation of Christ, book 2, chapter 12. Our Lord Jesus Christ himself was not one hour of his life without suffering. It behooved Christ to suffer, saith he, and rise again from the dead, and so enter into his glory. And why dost thou pretend to seek another way than this royal way, which is the way of the Holy Cross? The whole life of Christ was a cross and a martyrdom, and dost thou seek rest and joy? Thou errest, thou errest, if thou seekest any other thing than to suffer tribulations. For this whole mortal life is full of miseries and beset on all sides with crosses. And the higher a person is advanced in spirit, the heavier crosses shall he often meet with, because the pain of his banishment increases in proportion to his love. Now, as we become detached and we start to love suffering and adhere to Christ, that is when the true consolations come because we are truly rooted in Jesus Christ uncreated. So that anything that happens on the outside, whether that's in the church crisis or in our family or in ourselves, we can be at peace because we're in Christ. So it's keeping that state of grace, keeping uh, the suffering before our eyes, so that we are embracing the suffering. So this is the hard part. But this is taking up your cross manfully like a saint. All of our fathers took up their cross, and they bled and died for the faith. And they died as Catholics. They died as men of God. And that's our mantle that they give to us by giving us the faith. Now, there's a very important concept that St. Thomas talks about, and that is effeminacy. Now, effeminacy is defined as a reluctance to suffer because of an attachment to pleasure. So that's what effeminacy is. And so when we, when we are attached to pleasure, we're reluctant to suffer as men. So we need to detach ourselves from this pleasure, and we need to adhere to the holy cross of Jesus Christ and the cross of suffering. That's the first way that we can get through this crisis. That's number one. And we're going to go through all the rest of the five. I want to direct you to our website. We have a few resources regarding some of these concepts. I'm going to link those on the, in the description. So take a look at those. We have uh, talking about effeminacy, talking about suffering. We could talk about those things. Leave your comments and let me know what you think and what your thoughts are on all this. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, if you want to support our apostolate, um, you can go to patreon.com slash meaning of Catholic. I'll have all the links below. <laughs>
Thank you.